Pisces, welcome. This is the end of December 2021 heart spread read. I already have it set out. You can see here in the shape of a heart. And this week uh, for every sign, I'm reading on you and the one you just can't get off your mind. The one you just can't get out of your head. Here represented by this Ace of Pentacles which is the number two position in the heart spread and it shows the energy of where your person's head and heart is at in and around love and relationships try I, how i try to read this um so there's someone very solid it does indicate a earth sign a taurus virgo capricorn personality um i just get with this reading that this if you look at how robust this elk is here it's such a robust ace of pentacles and you know it i've heard other people say the ace of pentacles is one of the best cards you can get and i uh, agree um you really got something so there's someone bringing really solid energy like if there's any doubt about this person's sincerity um i wouldn't doubt it um and i get the feeling it might be really good looking take good care of their body and that kind of thing um you you might perceive them in that way like maybe you might see them being younger than you uh, particularly as being robust male or female energy now this is you where your energy's at and around love and relationships coming into the reading now a lot of pisces were going to have taurus energy in their chart so it could speak to that and um you might have personal plants there or otherwise uh, but this uh, is pointing into the reading, and I think it shows that you're married. So if you're not married and in a relationship, I was trying to think of, like, how this could be with your person. And um, I, I'm not really seeing it with your person, uh, mainly because of the Six of, of Swords, which is the advice from Spirit for Relationship as a whole. Um, but I see that this... Uh, if it's a relationship you're in or this person that's on your mind uh, they're bringing up for you the judgment card and also that's pluto now which conjunct venus this very day um, and also mercury so that could be this reading so uh, but this is your energy towards them it could point to this being a plutonic relationship it's going to be very intense very sexual or uh, prone towards you know uh, issues of uh you know, obsession and power struggles but can be very very intense and magnetic kind of sexual relationship so i think it what i get from this is you're in this relationship and this person is calling you up it's like making you kind of think uh, or feel or realize um, that you're not really fulfilled in this marriage like probably you thought you would be you see the light around the hair font um, I have to read it this way. Again, this is the one on your mind. I, I'd say when I started these readings with Aries, I mean, m maybe we're uh, mated. And uh, there's someone on my mind. I'm, I'm in love. I'm not going anywhere with the love of my life for the, re the rest of my life. But there's someone that would fit this bill. And I think with this, whoever this person is, it's good to come to come as much closer as we can in dealing with it. But I think this person felt like it was a burden dealing with you because... They have the Ten of Wands coming towards you. And, you know, I know you have two moons, and you have the uh, going back to them. Um, with the Six of Swords, the moon is prominent up here, and the moon is prominent behind them. As if they've been, you know, laboring all day with that Ten of Wands and, and want to get rid of them. And, you know, I see that on the bottom of the deck, there's this Six of Pentacles. And I... Also, you have the Six of Swords, so we'll keep that in mind as we go along. There's connected. And I believe, if you look at how it's facing, it's facing into the reading, you know, away from your past. What you believe is marriage. If you're not married, then you have a marriage very strongly energy around you. You know, it's still, I mean, you've been divorced not long. Or if you have, it's still just a big part of you, the marriage, see? Um, so, with the Six of Pentacles... I think there's a promise that there could be something substantial here. Um, your person here is le legitimate, I want to say, sincere. Um, it kind of got a Virgo energy about it to me. I'm feeling like Virgo, Pisces. Um, and they just feel like in trying to meet your needs with the 
this energy of judgment, you know, what you might, uh, you're digging into yourself, you know, what does life really mean? What do I really want? Um, and you, it would, this person would make you feel called up. The judgment's being called up, the trumpet call, arise, arise. Um, and, you know, but um, this, I think, is the person that's uh, probably a fire sign as well. They've probably got fire energy, sun, moon, rising, Venus always. So, you know, we're probably looking at like a some combination of fire and earth dominant uh, personality. That's your person here. Um, and this is their advice from spirit, the king of wands. And this is your advice from spirit, the empress. These are the three most important. The advice from spirit for the relationship as a whole is the six of wands. So with your advice being the empress and coming under the judgment, and, and, and you've got the hierophant over here, um, it's really to take not really take control of your life but um be you be solid you like you definitely you don't need to change the empress is solid um the empress is loving and and solid and um really capable of um loving herself and the empress won't give herself away in any fashion put that way so and the Empress can do what's best for the Empress here. And also, the Empress would well meet a King of Wands. And it could be approached by a King of Wands. And with this being the Six of Wands, it makes this really complicated for me. I'm going to, I've asked Spirit to help, so I'm going to get some, I'm going to do some clarification. This is the, uh, you know, uh, outcome here. Three of Swords, we know what that is, okay? I think this is pointing to your marriage. It's like, you're going to have to make this movement and what it points to and sometimes it's okay it doesn't sometimes this is how it has to go down for whatever reason it's a mass safety it's it's just uh you know you do what you have to do this movement away again the moon is emphasized with your person it's like literally they could have been moonlighting like in seeing you then they got to do it at night and they got another life during the day you know they have to take care of and um, i think that your person here wants uh, uh, you to uh, make some kind of move towards them and be with them. And that's what Spirit is suggesting it. And it's you going to them, clearly. Um, and the King of Wands is a kind of important message for your person. So I'd love if there's a cross watcher or if you could share. I'd love to see the reading used that way. And it's like, uh, it's kind of like suck it up. It's like, you can handle this. You're very solid, okay? Be the king of wands, and um, it's not easy, whatever you're having to deal with, whatever you're having to do to accommodate your empress here that's coming towards you, you know, moving towards you. And also, judgment is extraordinarily careful thought, after extraordinarily careful thought. You know, and again, we have the six of pentacles on the bottom of the deck, which I think means something in terms of this six of uh, swords energy. I think there's a promise of stability and like equality here. It could be about this person with the pay, with the uh, ace of pentacles that what you really like about them is how solid they feel. Now, a star card. <laughs> I wanted to get a clarification on both of this. Uh, your movement towards them, which can be a mental energy and on the um, Three of Swords, and it's clarified with the star, so that's the ultimate um, outcome of this heart spread. Um, Aquarius energy, but this is all about hopes and dreams and wishes. It's like, and look at how similar in color it is to the, uh, you know, the Six of Swords, you know, and also to the Judgment. You know, really, I think this reading for you comes down to the Six the uh, judgment and the star and the six of swords and this is you're moving towards your hopes and dreams and wishes here and it is it does mean that somebody's heart's going to have to be broken you know um maybe your heart's broken i've been there too you know breaks your heart to move but you know you have to do it but the thing about it is you're you're moving clearly towards uh what's right for you what you feel aligns you 
Judgment's a lot about aligning, I think, you know, calls us up. Hey, you're off the path. Align yourself with your spiritual path and do what you know needs to be done. That's what you're being called up to do something. And, you know, I think that's what's going on here, Pisces. So let me know what you think of this, would you? Um, if you uh, hit a like, that'd help a lot. The old algorithm, I like to get this out if I can. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Thank you, guys.